What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. This is Overlanding Now and today I have with me my daughter Remington and my wife Courtney and we wanted to do a real-time 5,000 mile review of our 2021 Geo Pro by Rockwood by yes. Forest River. I don't know um, but we wanted to do it real-time because it gives a better explanation of the way we travel when we travel. I don't know if she's happy about it, but we've been on the road for almost a month now and it's been quite the experience. We've had, we've been a lot of places and we've taken this thing with us. Um, so I wanted to go through that. And at the end of the video, we'll sit down and we'll discuss if we could do it all over again, if we'd actually do it. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is everything that we have outside and the way we use our exterior space versus our interior space. So if you'll see behind me, we have two camp chairs, we have a small table, and we have our griddle. Um, everything that you see in the video today that we use when we travel, I will put links in the description. If in fact you just bought a camper um, or you're watching this because you have one and you're looking for new ideas, all of the stuff that we use and that we take with us, we will put links in the description. If you'd like to purchase them through those affiliate links, it helps the channel, that would be awesome. If not, find them wherever you can, as cheap as you can, as long as you get what you need for your travels. Now, the exterior cooking space that we use is what you see right behind me. Um, it's a lot easier to clean up when you're outside than inside, and it's not like your home kitchen. You don't have all the additional counter space, um, you don't have a huge refrigerator, you don't have all of the, the things that you may be used to in your home while you're traveling. So we cook outside because it's easier to keep the exterior clean than it is when you're cooking inside because you just don't have much space. And when things start getting dirty in there, you notice really quick because it is such a small confined area. But the griddle that we use is what came with the camper. I'm not exactly sure, I think it's called a Elite Series Griddle. Um, I know Blackstone makes a really good small griddle and it hooks directly to our propane connection that comes out right here behind the rear wheels. Now everything out here is super simple. Um, the table that we have is a, I believe it's a small Coleman table and it's something that we take with us when we're camping in our Jeep. We take it with us wherever we go because it packs down really small um, and it allows us to have a small space to cook, to clean, to eat, to do whatever we need to do. Now the camp chairs that we use are GCI Outdoor Rocking Camp Chairs. These are not the camp chairs that we take with us when we travel in our Jeep, but because we have more space when we travel in the camper, we can obviously bring a l items that are a little bit bigger that we wouldn't necessarily bring when we're out camping in the Jeep. Now one thing I will mention, if you're cooking outside, and we made this mistake on this trip, I didn't realize what I was doing. If you're going to be cooking anything greasy next to your camper on your griddle, what you need to understand is that all of that grease in this example was bacon and all of that bacon grease popped and it went all over the side of the camper and now I have to use some type of degreaser to get it all off. So when, you, when you're cooking outside of the camper, now I try to drag that table out as far as I can um, just to give us a little bit more space to try to keep the camper from getting extremely dirty um, by bacon grease or whatever else that you may be cooking. So in terms of storage, these campers don't have a ton of it, but if you're used to traveling in an even smaller vehicle like a Jeep like we are, this is a lot better than what we're typically used to. So what you have is a small storage space up front and then you have a larger storage space in the back that I'll show you in a minute. Now up front is basically just general items that we are going to need but we don't need all the time. When we travel, if you can see back here, there's a blue water container and it's a seven gallon water, water container. So we don't generally use our water tank. We always bring our drinking water separately so we have that and we can fill that up separately as we need. Um, and also when you add 30 gallons of fresh water, it, also, it makes your, your tow a lot heavier. And we tow with a Jeep Gladiator. So 
I don't want to get into that whole conversation because I get chastised about the Jeep Gladiator comments, but it's not a great tow vehicle. Um, if you're going to be towing a camper of this size, I would just recommend having a 1500 or something a little bit bigger. It'll make your life easier as you're towing. But the things that we keep up front are shoes, extra hiking boots. Um, we'll keep our seven gallons of water up there, just our fresh drinking water. We'll keep all of our um, camper needs. So when you purchase a camper, I, I didn't realize when you purchase a camper, there's a lot of items that you need. Um, you need different plugs for dip different amperage um, electric hookups. You're going to need a hose. You're going to need a water filter. You're going to need uh, wheel chocks. You're going to need leveling blocks. So there's all of these additional items that come along with purchasing a camper that I was unaware of. So what I have is just a small Sterilite tote. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that Sterilite totes are like the best tote that you can purchase. The small industrial grade um, black and red Sterilite totes are perfect for every situation. Um, I've purchased a lot of other ones and these are always the ones that I come back to. I'll leave that link in the description because I think even if it's just for your household needs, these totes are absolutely perfect. Um, now also when we travel, we keep the griddle underneath there up front as well. So everything that we, we need is there, but it's stuff that we use very rarely. We keep kind of in the middle, the stuff that we have to get to quite often. Um, we keep closer to the two side uh, doors just because it makes it easier for us to be able to reach in and grab the stuff that we're gonna need on a regular basis. Another thing that I don't wanna forget to mention is something simple like this. This is a Libman. Um, small broom and a small dustpan and it packs down to about this size and this is super simple and easy to use when you're sweeping out the interior of the camper what you have to remember is it is a very small space so I, what I do is I take this I get on my hands and knees or my wife gets on her hands and knees and we just broom everything towards the door put it into the dustpan and we throw it out Something like this may sound silly and it may not be something that you think about, but this is all that you need. The interior floor space is maybe 50 square feet. So it takes you 30 seconds to broom it with this um, and you can use like a Lysol wipe to disinfect the floor and your floor is clean. So this is something that I would recommend. It doesn't have to be this one, but something this small, it takes up very little space and it allows you to clean your camper within five minutes. So uh, something that I want to mention, which is not a big deal for us, but some people are very serious about the way they listen to music. Um, just above me, there's a little circular dome that has an exterior speaker, and it's it's a, it's a it's a poor speaker. It's not a great sound system, which for us, it doesn't matter. It's totally fine. We only listen to it when we're cooking, when we're hanging out by the fire. We don't need anything um, super loud or bassy, but if... Music is something that you truly enjoy while you're out camping and you want to make sure you can hear it well and you, you're, you're a fanatic about sound, then I would bring something with you that allows you to listen to music in a different capacity because you're not going to get great acoustics out of this stereo. Like I said, it does not matter for us, but I think it's something that if you're looking to purchase a camper or this camper, it's something that you should keep in mind um, if music is your thing. Brought you guys around to the other side of the camper where it has all of the city water connections um, it has your electrical connection and if you can see back in the back and I'll show you in a minute there's a little blue uh, cylinder that's coming off of the water spigot and that is a water purification um, system it's something that I've seen on a lot of campers and we decided to get one just to purify the water that comes into the camper a little bit better we don't drink that water but I think it's something important for you to have if you do intend to drink it because a lot of the campground water is coming from wells um, and it doesn't usually smell that great so it's something if you if you didn't bring drinking water with you you're definitely gonna want to get some type of filtration system for the camper now also behind me is the outdoor shower so once we get inside, I'll show you how small the shower is. Now, granted, we knew the shower was small when we purchased the camper. I'm not griping about the shower size. I don't expect anything more than what we have. But the reason I wanna talk about the outdoor shower is because that is the only way we shower in the camper. Um, we have each showered one time on the shower on the inside. And it's just really small. Like I said, we knew that. The water pressure is okay, um, but it's not something that 
is very comfortable to do. So what we do is, depending upon where we are, um, we put our bathing suits on, we come out here, and we turn on the outdoor shower and we take showers outside. You get to take a shower in the sunshine. Um, it's a much better experience. You have the space that you need and you just bring your toiletries and whatnot with you while before you shower. So I would recommend that you get a shower tent. That is something that we're going to be purchasing here in the next few days is a shower tent that we can set up outside so we can take our showers in peace and privacy while we're um, out on the road. So back here what we have is the larger um, storage space in the Geo Pro. Now, this what we have is the bunkhouse edition. So we have a bunk up here, and I'll show you when we get inside, and also a bunk right here. But this bunk will actually lift up so you can store larger items in there while you're traveling. Um, and this has been a lifesaver for us because it allows us to bring a pack and play, a stroller, um, a little baby Jeep seat, all the additional items we also throw our mountain bike hitch back there so there's a lot of things that we pack in back in this little space and so far it hasn't let us down we've had plenty of space for the things that we need and if you know my wife which you may not she likes to bring a lot of extra stuff so this gives us the space we need for those moments when she decides she needs to throw just one more thing in the camper before we take off. So moving on to the interior of the camper, um, the lighting in here is not that great, so I apologize. I'm gonna do my best to, to show you around and, and see the way we have everything set up. But behind us, you'll notice that we have our bed, obviously. Um, and then up top on your right is where we keep our miscellaneous items that we need. Um, hoodies that it may be cold when we get there it may be warm um, in the afternoon so we throw our hoodies and things like that up there on the right side because it just gives us a really easy opportunity to grab it if we need it or if it starts raining um, on the left side over here is everything related to my daughter so her sleepers um, her blankets uh, anything that she needs that we use on a regular basis, we keep over here on the left side. And that just allows us simple and easy access. We have not been able to come up with a better way to utilize this space. So really what we have is what we have and it works well for us right now. We may change it in the future, but for the 5,000 miles that we've been traveling, this is how we've used this up, um, the up top storage space. So I have everything turned around now because I think this is gonna be the easiest way to show you exactly how we have everything set up. So what you see is our sink and our oven and stove. And this is generally how we keep everything on the inside. Um, we use a towel over the stove and then we throw that metal drying rack on top of that towel and we wash all of our dishes and do um, all the dish drying right there. And this is, how we have everything set up about 90% of the time because quite honestly, it's a lot easier to just use that space as additional counter space than it is to have um, as a cooktop. Now, if you'll notice, there's a small piece of glass that's right here. Um, and that is a piece that broke right when, the first time we ever took the camper on the road. So we leave it flipped up like that. We never even tried to fix it because it didn't really do much good in the first place. So we kind of just left it exactly how it is. So here we have our little table section. Um, now this table section actually flips down into a bed and that's where our daughter sleeps every single night when we're in the camper. We flip the table down, the cushions fold over, and then we have a little thing that we purchased that happens to fit perfectly um, right there on the table and that allows us to have her sleeping in this section um, without any fear of her rolling off onto the floor and it slides right into these little grooves perfectly and it just keeps her from falling down or falling out of there and it's something that's worked really well for us so far. Over the table area is where we just keep all of our food. Um, that is enough space for us generally to keep all of our food. So we just stack everything in there the best way that we can. And when we need it, we can grab it when we're cooking. So the refrigerator is a much smaller than what you're used to in your house, obviously, but it's still a decent sized mini fridge and it gives us plenty of space. We're used to traveling in our Jeep with a much smaller refrigerator. So any additional space that we can get, we take advantage of. But 
The refrigerator is perfectly fine for what we need. Um, if you need additional fridge space, you could always bring a cooler, but we generally don't have anything that we cannot fit inside this fridge and freezer combo. So as far as that's concerned, it's been really, really good for us and it's worked out quite well. So a couple of things that we have are we have command strips and hooks hung in several places throughout the camper. Right here is where we put our trash bag. We hang a bag on either one of those command strips. We put our trash in it. As it fills up, we take it out and take it to the dumpster. Um, that's the only thing that we've been able to come up with so far that makes sense in terms of some type of trash can or trash receptacle. And right here is where we hang our keys um, for the Jeep. So that's another little command strip that we put up. And then back here in the back, we put an additional two command strips up for towels. Um, and a little trick if you need to keep this door open, we hang a towel on it. My wife figured this out and we stuff it down underneath this top bunk and it'll keep your door open because when you have that fan on, it's going to suck that door shut most of the time. So that's a good way to keep your door open if you're having issues with it. Up top, we have our uh, top bunk where our son generally sleeps when he's not here. We just throw additional blankets and pillows up there and whatever we need to store while we're traveling. And then underneath we have more storage that we use for any type of devices that need charged, our computer, clothes bags, whatever it is that we have that just kind of needs to be out of the way, that's where we store that when we're moving. All right, so we're back in the bathroom and this is the only place that has decent lighting. Um, so I wanted to show you the bathroom itself has a shower head, a small sink, and down here is where you have your on and off um, valves. Now, like I said previously, we do all of our showering in the outdoor shower. What we do with this in here is more storage. This is our dirty clothes bag. We throw our dirty clothes bag in the bathtub and that's what we use it for. Other than going pee in the camper, we do everything else outside of the camper. If we're at a campground, we use toilets for number twos and all that stuff. So. Um, the, the shower is extremely small. It's nothing more than what I would expect in a small camper, but it's not something that I'm comfortable taking a shower in. And more importantly, it fills your gray tank up. What you have to remember is you only have 30 gallons of black, 30 gallons of fresh, and 30 ga gra gallons of gray. And all of this is gray. So if you're taking a shower, you're washing dishes, and you're doing all this stuff, and you're somewhere where there are no, there is not a dump station, your gray tank's gonna fill up relatively quick. So anything that you can do, washing dishes, or anything outside of the camper, will make your life easier because it'll keep your gray tank from filling up. So above the oven and the range hood, you have a couple additional um, storage options. We really just keep some dishes up here. We keep our coffee cups, um, some paper towels, aluminum foil, things like that. Things that we need on a regular basis while we're cooking or while we're doing anything in the kitchen, we keep up there. And outside of that, other than the drawers, underneath the bed and underneath the two bench seats, you really don't have a ton of additional storage options while you're in the camper. All we do in our drawers is put clothes. We have one junk drawer. Everyone has a junk drawer in their house. We have one in the camper, and it's one of the drawers underneath one of the bench seats. The other drawer underneath the bench seat is what we use for all of our daughter's um, formula, all of her bottles, diapers, wipes, anything that we need to get to quickly, we keep right there, and it's also beside the bed. So when we're sleeping, if she wakes up and she needs a diaper change or she needs to eat, we can reach down into that drawer, we can pick up the things that we need to pick up um, and get her back to sleep pretty quickly. Okay, so as promised, we wanted to sit down and talk about if we were to do this again, would we purchase this camper or another camper of similar size and shape again? And a couple of things that I wanna mention before we even answer that question. What you have to remember is these campers get put together extremely quick, especially in 2021, there's not enough of anything. And these manufacturers really do fly through these builds. And what that means for consumers like you and I is that sometimes we're not getting the best quality piece of equipment. And that's that's just the way that it is. Things in campers break constantly. We have had several things break. You need to be able to fix minor issues or live with the fact 
that the camper is not going to be as perfect as it was the day you bought it. We already had an issue from driving it from the dealership to our house. And that's just something you have to expect. So that's what I wanted to preface this with because it's something that you need to understand is that things are going to break in your camper no matter what. They take a beating. They're not built with the most structural integrity. You only get a year warranty generally and that's for a pretty obvious reason. So the things that you want to take care of are your roof and make sure your wheels and your tires and your axles and all of that stuff is in good shape before you take out on a trip. With all that being said, would you buy it again? Yeah. Why? Because it allows us to go on trips and get her out of the elements. Outside of that, if let's just say we're talking to somebody who does not have children and they're looking to possibly purchase a camper, maybe it's to go full time or it's to go part time, whatever it is, would you recommend something like this for those people? No, I would definitely go with something smaller. Like how small? Like a teardrop. Like a teardrop? Yeah. So we originally bought this because we have a little baby and we wanted to be able to travel. We've been on the road for a month. She's been with us the entire time. We've camped several nights in the tent as well, but this is a safe place for her. If it was not for her, there's no way I would purchase a camper of this size. I would do a teardrop yeah. um, because it's rugged. I mean, quite honestly, a teardrop is probably just as expensive or more expensive than this, but it's something that you can take anywhere. It doesn't weigh a lot. Um, and if it's just you and one other person, it, there is no need for something of this size. We travel as a family of four and we, all, we travel as a family of four in the Jeep from time to time. Yeah. But this right here is something that allows us to travel a lot more, to be honest. Are you going to just let her be like that? So as we wrap things up, we appreciate that you guys uh, came to watch this video. Um, Remington's in trouble now, so I guess it's just me by myself. But we wanted to give you a 5,000 mile review of the Forest River Rockwood uh, 2021 Geo Pro. And this camper for us has done everything that we've needed it to do. It has not blown away our expectations, but it has been exactly what we needed for our travels. We started traveling with our daughter when she was 30 days old in this camper and it's allowed us to do that. So as far as the recommendation, I think it's a great camper for a very small family. If it's just two of you, I would recommend a teardrop or something smaller um, just because it's more rugged and more capable and you can take it more places. It doesn't burn up your gas and you can tow it with just about any vehicle. So that pretty much does it for us. If you guys enjoyed the video or you found this video helpful in any way, please like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can come along for more adventures. Um, the links are going to be in the description below of all the items that we discussed today and we'll see you on the next one.